Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Transformers Siege and slash Legacy. Siege slash Legacy. Been screwing that up on multiple takes already. Galvatron. And first and foremost, he is awesome. Except for the fact that he basically just turns into an artillery cannon. <sighs> See, I like Galvatron as an idea and a concept, but stationary vehicle modes are meh. And yes, I know he has treads that help him move. However, I kind of like the idea of Galvatron being, I don't know, an upgraded tank, maybe a jet. Looking at you, Titans Return. Sorry, coffee. <laughs> I, I kind of like the idea of them making him a, you know, a jet. It, it would, it's kind of cool. Um, not to say that the, that the cannon mode doesn't look good. It is a very nice cannon mode and it invokes the power and the fear of the original, ver um, like cartoon. So he's a really cool guy. Do not get me wrong there. And the vehicle mode is very nice. It's just not my cup of tea. Or coffee in this case. <laughs> um, in terms of accessories, he's got his giant fusion cannon. His giant fusion cannon. Uh, that looks a little funkier. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Unicron had a an aesthetic he was already going for when it came to Galvatron's uh, cannon mode. Or... <laughs> cannon barrel because this thing is is a lot less utilitarian and more aesthetically pleasing with the uh the curves so hell if unicorn wanted to stop eating planets and open up a weapon shop that man could be making a killing uh you also get these two little blasters here that are in the form of the galvatron's revenge the uh the starship that galvatron uh, flew in during the movie. Did you get two of them? Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. Cast in silver. Or like a dark gray. Uh, a lot of reviewers that I've seen who talk about this. Also, kind of we, we all kind of agree. Could have been purple. Should have been purple. That way at least we'd have, you know, some, some semblance. Um, you can also combine them to make a... Uh, what I like to call the uh, the launch bay, kind of make it like a uh, a launch bay for uh, some of the MicroMasters. I mean, yeah, the, these things are cool. They're cool, but they're kind of just extra plastic that ups the um, that ups the price. So, eh. and of course, you get a matrix of leadership that's on a chain. You can now wear it. Oh, the back antenna kind of decided to screw me. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, doesn't this look fantabulous? Ooh. Yeah, that actually looks really cool. And it, it looks threatening with the Matrix just hanging on his chest. Like, it, <laughs> like in the scene where he's uh, going back to Unicron and just be like, Hey, Unicron. Guess what I have? Now piss off! But, oh no. Womp womp. I would have made that a skip, but uh, I don't have a Unicron to um to uh to do the skit with. So I apologize. Um. Yeah, for articulation head is on a ball joint so you can get him to look up just a wee bit you can get him to not really look down unfortunately um but the head goes like full tilty tilty which is really nice arms can go right out if the connection point will stay that's another problem for uh for me in my copy anyways lift up the shoulders and the entire chest wants to break apart but, oh, c'est la vie. But yeah. And look at that. He can T-pose. Suck it, previous Megatron. Aha. I inverted the Magnus joke. 
Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Ha. Um, arms are on a... Crap, what did I call this last night? Um, a universal joint. So you have the mushroom peg here and then a, uh, I guess a, a very soft, uh, it, it feels kind of like a, a very soft ratchet joint because there are small little thunks in here that are just really, really tiny. Um, bicep can do a very nice swivel, can get the arms to do an entire bicep curl. So the man will never skip arm day. You got the cannon here that can actually be placed either on his bicep like they had in the movie or you can place it right here so it can look a little bit more like a Megatron and quite honestly in my opinion it makes more sense to have the cannon on the forearm than on the bicep only because you can aim a little better with your you know with the forearm. Especially if you have these two giant black towers of... I don't even know why. Hip skirting, however, can go in and out. So you can kind of have... You can now <laughs> fake having a larger body. Because why not? Maybe he's cosplaying as Unicron and just decided to <laughs> flip these up and say... Yes, I am Unicron. Look at how fat I am because I eat too many planets. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I am still waking up, so my jokes ain't the best. Uh, legs can go out that far. They can go back that far. Could be a little bit further if you open up the backpack just a wee bit. You can get full range of motion there. Pull that back. There we are. Legs are able to do a... Very nice, 90, and you got this shin guard here sticking out like a bloody knife, man. That right there is a knife. Crocodile Dundee would be ashamed of that knife. <clears throat> and I always love those design flourishes on, like, especially, like, the Decepticons. If an Autobot has it, I'm like... Okay, yeah, that's cool, but if a Decepticon has these types of shin guards specifically, it looks bad friggin' ass. Because they're pointy. And you know for a fact that if those uh, Decepticons go in for melee combat, they're going to knee you in the spark. With those pointy ass shin guards. And that is really cool. That I really enjoy. Um, for... Leg or the foot articulation, you get kind of a little um, splayed. You can technically do this, but you break the entire bloody transformation doing that. So you can't actually do that. That that would be a bad. But for oops. see, that's what I'm saying. The the lock on mine is a little crappy. There we go. There we are. There we are. And everything is good to go. Yes, sir, Bob. All right, there we are. Huzzah. All right, and now for comparison. Well, there's really only two comparisons that we need now, isn't there? That of his. Uh, where is it? Ah, here he is. Where? Ah. <laughs> uh, this is a bit I'm doing on the fly, so forgive me. The Hunter. Day. Wait. No, Scourge was the tracker. Shiza. Hey, I don't have to. Yay. I actually have a reason to put the kid protection on here. Yay. And the actual hunter. Tracker. Hunter. And I just realized now why their vehicle modes make sense. Tracking ship, assault ship, stupid artillery cannon. <laughs> oh, God, why am I so stupid? 
but and quite honestly, these guys look bloody brilliant together, and it's nice to finally see this three, this trio outside of G One, with the cohesive aesthetic of, you know, just looking like they belong together. These two are in the same line. This one is a studio series, however, it's still they all still look like they belong together. I'm pretty sure I've heard a bunch of people saying online also that this guy should was probably slated for a studio series release. That's why he looks a little less in the uh, the Kingdom aesthetic. But you know what? They all look brilliant. They all look amazing. And it's time for these guys to go fush. So if you guys will give me just uno momento, por favor. Um, I'll get this guy transformed into vehicle mode. And then we can get, or I guess, artillery mode. And we'll get down to that. And here we have him in cannon mode. And he looks awesome. Now, I know I say I don't like, you know, quote, stationary modes. But I, I got to admit, I love this thing. And there is a wee bit part of me that can uh, shift my... Stance a wee bit because if you fold this down now it kind of looks like a giant space tank and you know what this I can do you like this to me this is how in my stupid ass opinion uh, he kind of travels around in the vehicle mode because that like yeah he has like the artillery platform and then you do this and then, boom, artillery platform. But then you move it down. And now he has a very aggressive kind of middle tank fusion thing. And something I actually just realized while transforming him. You move that out. And you now have, like, this entire section here is basically modeled after Unicron's maw. Like, maw, mod. <laughs> Sorry. Um, like, you have... What could essentially be the teeth around the rings here. And then I I guess if Unicron was a bug, the giant ass proboscis. And then you have the light that emanates from the mouth. That's just weird. And I I just kinda thought of that uh while I was transforming this guy. Um oh, weird part is you can't exactly put this part of the cannon anywhere, the actual um stick. I guess. Um, so what they want you to have, or what they want you to do, is to um, is to put it here, behind the tower. Ooh, more light! Yay! Um, and that just kind of ruins the aesthetic for me, so I don't do that. I take it off and perfect aesthetic. And if we take back the uh, the chain here, and we just bloop it here, there is a spot where it will peg in and there we go now we have unicron with his giant matrix of readership and we can take these back and plug them into the barrel if they will connect sometimes they don't like to connect and now you have him sporting that and I mean, yeah, if you want to muddle up the vehicle mode, sure, why not? Uh, it looks decent enough, but at this point, it's just, hey, what can we peg on here to make it more greebly? That's about it. It is Blast Effect compatible, though, and I love using this one because that looks powerful. That looks amazing. That I really like. That looks cool. <clears throat> And I really like that. Um, so yeah, you, you basically just have like, it's pretty much all the exact same detail in robot mode that just kind of got stretched, flattened out. And aside from really this cylindrical piece here, which is just the main body of the cannon, everything else is basically there in robot mode. And that's really, not, that's kind of the way that this version, or like this type of transformer should be. Like, 
the f- sorry i'm just trying to w- get the wording right it's not hiding itself behind a shell like scourge or well actually you know what cyclonus does the same bloody thing like he, he uses a lot of his well no actually the nose cone if you take the nose cone away it's yeah um i don't know where i was going with that thought i honestly don't um my brain no worky um but yeah no i tend not to display him with any of this not even with uh the matrix because i have a setup and i don't usually keep him in vehicle mode anyways so there he is in canon mode and to get that good old nine or no late 80s aesthetic pull this down pull that up and technically speaking now you have his laser blaster mode now you you are supposed to move these to the side but mine's a little finicky so i don't do that also i just find it hilarious how his feet just kind of are just kind of spread out like this spread eagle and then you just have the little wheelies come out also if i get the um the studio series wheelie that one's gonna be in rhyme i will try my best to rhyme while it's going on because it's wheelie and he kind of has to rhyme or I will get. Oh. Anywho, not talking about wheelie anymore. Um. So yeah, that's Megatron in his cannon mode. So for comparison, space tug. Sorry, space sensor tug, because he's still a tugboat. And sonic jet, which this guy could ride on. Mass shifting! Ah. Though speaking of mass shifting, I kind of feel like the gun mode that they had uh, for Galvatron wasn't just a play feature for the kids either. Like, what if, let's say, Unicron was able to break Galvatron's will um, and got him extremely servile? How powerful do you think Galvatron's tank mode, which I'm pretty sure Unicron could enlarge to become a gun for him to wield, would be? Like if, say, oh, I don't know, Primus showed up and they had a big old giant robot battle brawl. Like in the end of God and Lagan. Am I saying that right? No, Gurren Ra- Gurren Lagen. God, it's been a long time since I watched that. I have to rewatch that. I have to rewatch a lot of shit. <laughs> Sorry, introspective, not good, not conducive for a proper work environment. Um, but yeah. And even in vehicle mode, these guys look amazing together. Like, even though these two fit the aesthetic more, in my opinion. Like, e- even with the different color scheme they fit the um the aesthetic of hunter seekers a whole lot better than just a giant cannon but again you are now covering all three i I guess aspects of travel space sea space land space air When I say space land, I'm just referring to the fact that he's a giant space tank cannon thing. He belongs in outer space because he's a space boy. That is what he is. And that is what he do. I do kind of also fan mode a wee bit in terms of... uh, Because you can do this. And then rotate these up a little bit. And take out the cannon and then bring in whoop, this part here and kind of kind of sort of wedge that and technically he has a spaceship mode like this is 
It's a stupid fan mode. Don't get me wrong. Like, this to me, it, it's, it's stupid. Do not get me wrong on that. It's very dumb. It's very stupid. But it also... And it's literally just, like... I'm not trying to hide the fact that he doesn't turn into a cannon. Like, it's literally just a I'm going to get off the ground and hit you kind of mode. Also, I kind of like the idea of this just being like a little starship too. Wicker, 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 wicker. Um, but back to <clears throat> reality where he turns into a giant cannon. Put that there, put that there. And bibbidi bobbidi boop. We're good. Um... They honestly still fit the aesthetic really well. And I really enjoy it. Um, actually, I think I have one other thing. Aha. Here we are. This was not planned, so... Take him off of my shelf. Luckily, he was right behind me. So, I got the uh, third-party purple potato. And I just realized I could have it... Right behind everybody in this review. Now, I'm not reviewing Purple Potato for one reason and one reason only. The back section. I will never transform this guy again. Ever. I had a hard time transforming it to get him into this mode. And as you can see with the dust, uh, I haven't touched him since because I am afraid of the back section coming undone because... These become legs, and I'm scared. Um, but all, like they look really good underneath the Galvatron's Revenge. Um, if Potato would stop wobbling, stop wobbling, or it will undo. That's it. Someone get Unicron. We need to eat this fucking thing. But yeah. That looks amazing. The ship, yes, is not in scale, but what the hell is in scale in Transformers? Let's be honest here. You can have a giant tanker trunk and a motorcycle beside each other, and the motorcycle is bigger. And then when you go into robot mode, the tanker is bigger. It, the, no scaly, no sc scaly, no work. Um, but yeah, um, that was my, my scale rant. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it for the review. <laughs> that is basically it for the review guys. Um, thank you all so much for watching. And at the time of this recording, we're at 19 subscribers. 19! We're this close. We're one away. We are one away from reaching the 20 mark by the end of the month. And that is amazing. And if we can hit 20 by the end of the month, we will be doing a weekly, or I will be doing a very, very powerful, or not powerful, but a very big celebration that will last an entire week. And it's going to be a combiner third party combiner but a combiner nonetheless um and a combiner that i really enjoy playing with even though i haven't touched him in a while because he scares me um last time i transformed the body figure it very much hurt my fingy <laughs> um but yeah that's just a sneak peek of what's coming up for 20 um for the 20 um review also, if we can reach 30 subscribers by the end of the year, it'll either be Legacy Black Zarek or Kingdom Autobot Arc. And it's you guys who get to choose. So, follow me on Twitter. That's where we'll be having the poll. And one of these days, we may be getting a... Um... Oh, God. Uh, I forget what, um, what we were going to do. Uh, for like all of our pictures and stuff so that, um, it's not just the random, the, like the one thing that you see in the thumbnail or on Twitter. So again, thank you all so much for watching. We're this close to 20. Let's push for another, at least one more, maybe another 10 by the end of the year. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next review. Later, guys.